today I'm getting clippings to put in glasses in the window seals to save through the winter. And this is what I just got through taking clippings of. And it's called a Joseph's Coat Alternanthera. And uh, th they have different names too. I know there's Purple Night, and this is not Purple Night, but it's be it's a beauty. If you if you would get tired of green, which oh, one of my cousins say that green is her favorite color, and if you look around you, you'll see that it's God's favorite color too. So I think she might have been right. <laughs> but if you ever do think you want a little more pizzazz than just all green, just put you some alternate thera or one of these beautiful um, copper bright copper orangey coleus in with it and and it will definitely pop this pretty little green here is also an alternate thera joseph's coat and it just has a green color that if you miss just need something to put in along the bottom of a pot or just a small pot and it hang over and look gorgeous <laughs> this will be a perfect thing for that I love it with the small pots I haven't really used it to hang over on the uh, edges of a pot with a plant in it that just has a long bare stem but I can just tell it would be beautiful just from uh, imagination but I've got to remember to get some of this also the days are getting, the daylight is getting shorter, and we get dark here about 6.30, so I've got to get busy, but I just wanted to, to show you a little bit of this, just to give you an idea of what I am doing today, and also one more time to get it before the frost comes. And here's some good examples. I, I probably won't take any of these particular ones for clippings because I need one with a pretty good size uh, stem on it like this and doesn't have a very big stem. But because it will begin to rot when I put it in there just a few days and a few weeks later, I'll have to clip it back and keep trying to save it that way. But usually I do save some of them like that. But I'll try to get the ones with the longer stems. But every one of these coleus are just gorgeous. Something I definitely want. And I also want to say about the coleus that they are the most wonderful thing I've found for filling in in the summertime when everything else dies out of your pot. Here's one of those red shoulder bugs. It's another reason that I'm trying to get rid of the rain tree so those won't be all over the place. But... Um, Hmm, where was I? <laughs> oh, because the coleus roots so easily and you will need a cool day like on a rainy day to transplant them because they will also wilt easily if you don't but they're very easy to root and just fill in all those bare spots that summer leaves and they grow quite quickly. I'm sure these these are some I filled in with not just fairly recently and you can see how big they've already grown it's so beautiful to add color and beauty look at this pretty lady Margaret passion flower isn't that beautiful I wish I was out here just taking pictures but uh, I must go ahead and save some of this while I can because it's not cold hardy. So I'll be clipping some of this off and trying to save it in a glass in the window too. I tried that last year, but I did not get them to live. But I have got them to before, so I will definitely try this. And hopefully we'll have this back in the garden again next year. And the dusty millers are always wonderful. Sometimes they come back, but most usually I have to buy those. They're pretty readily found in all the nurseries, though. In uh, this double cosmos, it will die back too, but it will also come up from seed. As you can tell, there's already making seeds. It can actually get out of hand sometimes, but... Uh, I usually try to clip a bunch of it back and then I do try to leave some of it. I definitely want some of it to go to seed. 
and this beautiful plectranthus plant I'll definitely want to take some of that into it's not cold hardy either but uh, I save some of it in a pot in the window or in a glass in the window and uh, it did fairly well some of it died out but I got enough that I had some this and I actually had to purchase this one and of course this is also some more of the alternanthera this one is uh, it's called scarlet there and there may be another name along with that but it's it's a beauty too I just love putting the darker colors of maroon and just all those pretty dark colors in with the greens and yellow greens and even blues they just stand out so much I just I'm going to miss it actually I wish we could just have more of the fall weather I hate to see it it just like we it just got here and then it went away it's like we didn't really get to enjoy it at all and I'm missing it I heard someone one time say something about about a a grandchild is like missing someone you never met when you're anxious to have your grandchild so I actually do know that feeling <laughs> but I have plenty of grandchildren I just I want at least one more from my daughter that hasn't had any yet she's gonna kill me for putting that on here but I'm okay if she doesn't because I've got plenty of grandchildren but I just can't help it it's a natural innate thing in my being that I want another little one that belongs to my youngest daughter but I'm so grateful for my other grandchildren I won't be left alone if I shouldn't have another one look at this non-stop begonia it couldn't do anything in that heat now that it's gonna freeze or come a frost it just looks so gorgeous I've got to dig that up to and take that in and see if I maybe can save it and bring it back out from the root next year which that's another thing I'm not very good at doing and also right over here this dark with a little a little uh, bright pink on it that's another alternanthera I want to save that one too of course And these are some more little coleus clippings that I just got started recently that I was hoping to see them just really come into their own before frost came but that's not going to happen I may cover some of it but there's just too much to cover it and and uncover it and keep trying to do that uh, this of uh, this beautiful little green right here beside it is a columbine it'll be blooming in the spring looking gorgeous so I really wish I could just stay out here and take more pictures of it and enjoy it while I can because this is Friday the 13th. Is that right? No, Saturday, sorry. This is Saturday the 13th and tomorrow is the Sunday the 14th and Sunday night is when we're supposed to get a frost so there's not really time for doing all this even though I would like to <laughs> I would like to get it for you just as long as I can but I know that if I do that and spend my time doing this part that I really want to do I'll miss getting the little clippings that I could say for next spring and I want those very much so um, hopefully I'll get some that I can save and that's another thing I need to learn to do a little better because I am so bad with house plants lots of times I'll just go ahead and let them root I tried once to go ahead and uh, pot them up but they didn't live so and then on the other hand if you don't pot them up then you've got to You've got one that's just very weak and and stem rotted up to a certain degree and then I'll go ahead and clip all the rot off and put it in rooting powder and give it that chance and I definitely have had several come back that way so that's my 
tried and true way that I keep trying again and using that way but I also want to learn to do it where I can get them um, I think maybe one thing I use a, a little too heavy of a soil I need to add perlite to it so it can go on through the the water can go on through and not stem rot them but I just really don't know I don't have a good place with sunshine for probably the main thing but but for whatever reason you just have to try and figure out what works best for you and right now just putting them in a glass is what works best for me but I've got to get busy with that so that's six o'clock getting dark and me trying to get all these little coleus colors in glasses is not working very well. It's going to get dark before I get it all done. But I hope I don't miss some of these. Look, this is uh, Alabama Sunset coleus. And this is the same Alabama Sunset coleus. So um, you just never know for sure what you're going to get. Isn't that beautiful? Both of them are beautiful. This one, the red was way more pronounced. And in this one, the yellow was the most pronounced of the color. And they're both beautiful. And there's this little dark coleus, which is also wonderful. And I've already got some clippings of it in the window. So I know I will have this one at least get it started. Hopefully I'll have it all through the winter and back out in the garden next spring so it's nancy and i just wanted to uh, sign off for the annuals for the season because tonight is that first frost so i'm hoping that we still have some days afterward i'm going to try to cover a few things but there's no way i can cover it all and maybe not even a lot of it because i don't have a lot of time today to do that but hopefully um There'll be some to enjoy even afterward, and hopefully we'll have some more beautiful weather afterward. But it will be a little less bare, I mean a little more bare, since there's a, be a little less in it. The less the annuals will be, some of them will be gone. Good morning. October the 14th, 2018. Another beautiful Sunday morning to enjoy the garden. It's been raining. It's kind of still dripping off the eaves, which is a rainy day. is a wonderful, pleasant day in my opinion. I love it. Um, so I'm going to take a few more pictures this morning just because I can. This afternoon or this evening one, we're supposed to get that um frost so definitely want to enjoy it while we can there's still lots to do i got most of the stuff in that i'm going to try to bring inside there was a few things that i remember that I didn't get one of them actually was this um, this is a in the licorice family and it's called icicles which I, I love it and if you see that little lime green foliage down there that's also uh, licorice mint li green mint green liquid licorice and uh, it's another one of my favorite plants it's got a little fuzzy feel to it and of course I just love both of those and I, I doubt if I can save that mint through the winter so I'll probably just try to buy that one again I, I don't really have much luck saving this but I saved a sprig of it in a glass one time so it makes me want to try again I never did get around to painting my um, pots and everything as the same color on my fairy garden so they'll all match and look like they belong together but hopefully that'll be another job I can do um, either still this fall or sometime next year I would say spring but spring is so busy there's 
really not any use in thinking I could add something else to cleaning out this all this stuff that has will have to be cleaned out there's the pretty white impatient I don't know why it's just done so well these last few days it filled out and bloomed and just looked so good when I was putting um, are getting the pots from behind some of these little garden decor I loosened them from their Gorilla glue that I put on them. So I'm gonna to have to come out. It, it does really well But once it dries and it's been there for quite some time if you um, pull and pull on it or fall against it or whatever get loosen it up it, it'll loosen up after it's gotten brittle which is kind of a good thing because that way you know it's not really permanent if you want to move it you eventually can <laughs> but um just wanted to enjoy it one more time myself so i thought maybe you'd like to enjoy it with me there's my tiny little hosta, or small from what it would have been if the snails hadn't almost killed it. And I think that coffee and coffee grounds is what saved it. Um, but all of them, see how it did this one. It's just done all of them, a number on all of them. So I'm hoping to be able to overcome that snail problem. I put this one little pot up a little higher on a, a taller um, a taller stand, plant stand. You can see a little bit of the red poking out there. But uh, it was down low enough that the plants around it were covering it up. So I set it up on this and I need to stabilize that a bit too because it's really just sitting there and uh, it already turned over once. So I need to get out there and uh, put the, those legs down in the ground just a little enough to stabilize it from tipping over when it rains hopefully I think I'm going to try to cover this little pot and see if I can keep it a little bit longer after the frost and I think we're supposed to have like at least three days of cool weather cool enough that it could um, take the garden out at least all the annuals but I'm hoping that I got most everything in and that I can just um, enjoy it next year save it and enjoy it next year of course the perennials when I saw these marigolds I thought mums but these are actually marigolds but the the mums which this one is the one that hasn't quite bloomed yet but it's beginning to bud out and opens a few of those are they're bursting they're not really open yet but they're beginning to and they will still be here after the frost i'm pretty sure so we'll still have some of the garden left but so much of it will be gone I would just cover it all, but then I'd have to uncover it all to really enjoy it. And then I'd have to cover it all right back up again, and it's just too much. I'm, I'm not willing to try to do all that. As a matter of fact, I'm not able to do all that. Just, just too much. The last, this last week was just, oh, it was so busy. And, I, and we spent Monday uh, shopping with my daughter, my our oldest daughter. And so um, I thought we had plenty of time at that time before I realized that no, we do not have plenty of time. It's going to come this weekend. So yeah, that was a struggle to get all that done. I had not even dug the dahlias, so there, there was digging dahlias, caladiums, any other bulb that I had that I wanted to save, which some of them was pineapple or were pineapple lilies, and. Um, And then we also I brought in clippings yesterday, uh, clipped back so many different things, and 
this is one of them right here is this this is a Mexican flame vine I had saved some of that vine several vines that I I saved um, if you can see this little cross it says a garden is a friend you can visit anytime <laughs> and that's really true I, I love to come out here you feel closer to God in a garden I think and uh, especially like yesterday when it was so hard to to get all this in I just start singing praises because that helps me to keep going it just helps me keep going and the Lord is is he's definitely in a praise because there's scripture that says the Lord inhabits praise so God is is so good it's so wonderful to have him close beside me helping me and guiding me I I just wouldn't want life any other way it's so good to have God in my life and I know we still go through struggles and sometimes we just really wonder well where is God in this but uh, he's working all things for our good I love this little girl right here. I uh, found when I found her, I got three of them, one for me and one for my mother, and then one of my sisters. Um, I get roses for her. Her name is Rose, actually. <laughs> so I had to get her one of these two. <laughs> There's another mom that's buds are swelling up with color at the tips of them ready to burst into color. I think this is a uh, like a maroon, a soft maroon color uh, with a yellow center daisy mom. And this, I just love this. I've never got, it's a meadow root and I've, it has never bloomed for me. But it just doesn't even, I mean, I would love to see the bloom, don't get me wrong. But I, I still love it. Just that filigree foliage, isn't that just beautiful? You mix it in with other things and uh, the different foliages, it just really plays off so pretty. There's still so much to do even after we bring everything in. I would love to do a few fall, plant a few fall seeds and or seeds that need to be planted in the fall because they need a cold period. And I would like to do some uh, cone flowers and maybe some peonies and um, several things still that I would I would like to do. I, and then this is another thing over here is are these uh, zinnies that uh, they're wet right now but when they dry out I want to see if I can't save the seed from some of this stuff out here. Um, love these zinnies. They're just absolutely perfect for pots because they have that big beautiful bloom just like a regular zini but they're not uh, very tall. 
they get about, I think it said uh, 10 to 14 inches tall. So they're just perfect. I know if you've looked at the post, you've seen all this, but if you're like me, you'd love to see it again. <laughs> I do. It's just, I love to come out in the garden and just enjoy the beauty. I got several little clippings off of this little coleus right here and hopefully be able to have it back out in the garden next year. So pretty. So it looks a little scraggly right now, but it's still pretty and it gives me hope for our next next uh, season's garden. This is a cardinal climber vine. I won't take a, a clipping from it, and I wish one of them were blooming for you, but it's just a tiny, tiny little, little one about the size of my thumbnail there. Whoops, that one fell off. But they're, they're just real small, but they're such a bright, beautiful red that you can't, you can't really miss them. <laughs> These, of course, are the clematis um, seed heads. And then this is the chocolate plant. I love it. Um, it's in the fall, these pretty white tufts just really shine. And then um, back here, I have this little little one here that says make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands I took in a little bit of this uh, purple wandering Jew also I may want to get that too though before before it freezes it It's beautiful orange. I don't know that color's not showing up quite as bright. It looks kind of white there, but in reality, let me see if I can get up closer where you can see that beautiful, beautiful color. I think at the beginning of my uh, post this year, I mentioned something about playing with color and texture and beauty, and that's exactly what the garden is about. Um, this is one of my favorites, as I've mentioned before, too, is this, these colors, the coleus and the impatience together just make a beautiful little showing, and um, I love this beautiful um, diamond frost euphorbia, too. So I'll go to church and then I'm going to go out and eat with a friend to celebrate her birthday and then oh my and then I, I think I'll get a few more of these in and I think the frost is coming so I dread that but it'll be okay we'll have this little memory right here I'll have it on a video clip so we can just really enjoy this whenever we want and and then we'll have hope for our next next season garden and I 
I was going to say, look at this little pot. Oh, first look at all those beautiful strawberry fields in there. And then there's some marigolds too. Isn't that pretty? And with those iris, which I need to get out and clip those iris out. For me, they're easier to clip out in the late fall than they are in the in the spring because they just die back and it's just hard to get them out of there but this is the one i was going to say something about because i just put this one uh, together uh, with little clippings and starts from my other mums but it's just now beginning to really come into its own there and here it is going to freeze it out before it really gets to shine i'm going to flip this little little uh, leaf or foliage over a bit but looks like this one needs it too <laughs> but yes it got scraggly before it got pretty but now it's just beginning to really be pretty oh there's so much i wish i <laughs> would wait around for so we could enjoy it longer but it is a good feeling to have it all in because even when you're enjoying it you're you're thinking i've got to get all this inside if i'm going to save it so uh, it's a good feeling to have it almost all in there and i'll do like i say just a few more that i remembered that i didn't get last night so i'll try to get those and and I'll try to let it go as hard as it is to let go. It's going to have to happen. You can tell how hard it is to let go because I can't even stop taking the pictures. But I just keep realizing that it will all be gone soon. And I don't want to um, miss getting some of these shots for the last time. So I decided before I put it away to go ahead and come over on this side, which at first I thought not to do because there's mud over here. And guess what? I'm all dressed for church in my um, slightly better shoes than I normally wear out here. This is another little thing that it's kind of just coming into its own there it's a little clipping off of a one of my um, ornamental cabbages and i think it looks so pretty there it looks just like a great big bow and this is another thing i need to do is to come out and uh well one thing to get the seeds from the zinnies that are in this and then another thing is to just to go ahead and to pull up let me get behind this this is a snowball bush here that will bloom in the spring but uh, behind it on the other end of this is the Magellan zinnies that I definitely want to uh, clip those off dry them out save the seeds pull up the old foliage because it will just die anyway and plant some uh, fall flowers there and I've already told you I definitely want to get some of these uh, seeds from this annual butterfly weed. It was really pretty and it definitely brought the butterflies. There's one of those mums I was telling you about already in bloom. This one's a little more pale, I think. But the other one may be this exact same color. I, was, I have one that's a little darker than this. I thought it was probably that one. But, and then I love these pretty yellow marigolds. I want seeds from those also. Um, my granddaughter painted this. <laughs> She painted it for the church, but they redid their nursery and gave these back to me. And actually, they were welcome because I, 
I just love having them. I would not have taken them back. But since I was giving them back, I'm like, all right, that works for me. This is a little bare spot right here. And I ended up putting a little sedum clippings or little roots here. And hopefully those will fill out and look good there and, and uh, cause it not to be just a mud hole there. I took several clippings of this dark foliage. This is a um, Alternanthera. This is called the Purple Night. And it is just really pretty. When it gets in the sun, it shines a little bit more than that. Some of it is, this is a little darker than most of the Purple Night that I've had in the past. Uh, but it's still very pretty, but the ones I've had in the past were a little more, had a little more maroon in it, and when the sun hit it, it just totally lit up like a ruby. It's one of my favorite plants in the garden. At least my hibiscus are hardy, so I leave them out in pots. And they will come back next spring if the uh, snails don't eat them all during the winter and kill them. But hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully I'll get to keep all my pretty hostas. I had some new ones this year, but as you can see, they did not do well. And I've had to fight the snails off of them too, but isn't that pretty? I think that's that, um, oh gosh, now I'm not going to be able to think of the name of it, but... Uh, it might be loyalist hosta. It's mostly white with just a little green trim. I cannot seem to get that started and it's such a favorite for me. This is my um, burning bush and it will hopefully it will turn a pretty red. Sometimes it does and sometimes it just barely gets any red in it at all but but it's a pretty little bush this doesn't this coloring on this if it looks like to you like it does through here doesn't do justice in this bright orange flame flower a Mexican flame vine and I do I did get some of that to bring in and last year that's how I got these back out I actually saved them through the winter in a glass and the window seal and rooted them and brought them back out and you can tell they've just went like this this is the pot they're in and they went all the way up this trellis and and just um, trying to keep going there this is one of the little ones I need to glue back on. I knocked her off, and she's such a pretty little angel. I just love her, and I got her from collections, etc. And uh, they have some pretty garden, little garden art to put in the garden. Love this um, redhead coleus, and I did take several clippings of it to bring inside, too. Hopefully, they'll all live and come back out next year. And then this coleus is... It's a little uh, more orangey, but it's also a bright, beautiful addition to the garden to break up some of the green. And here's another one of the red. And this is also a, I think this is the one that's also a sun coleus. So, and so is the red head and this orange one that I was showing you. These these can take the sun this where i have them here they get a little sun but they also get some shade from the eve of the house and uh and then this tree on the other side so they're shaded well enough i can grow in patience here like these beautiful ones right here and coleus sun which these are sun coleus and then this one here is is a shade coleus and i can grow it here too so it's just lovely. I, I enjoy them all. This is another little uh, garden art that I broke off. So I've got a couple at least around here. here, And I think I've got some in the back that I need to redo. I'm 
know how I wanted to just be able to get uh, so many pictures and just to sit out and enjoy it and, and get out here, stay out here so long that the birds get used to me being out here and so that if they're used to and you're going about your business and they're going about theirs they they won't shy away from you so much but I'm usually they usually know I'm not going to be in one spot long or in the back or the front so they'll hide from me whichever one I'm in that's the one they're not in they're in the other but um Anyway, I think that's pretty much close, uh, close to all of all of it. If I if I can give it up now, which I, if I can see anything else, I'll get it too. Because just because it's not going to be here again, and it's this is my last chance. So if I, I hope I'm not boring you with all this, but it's just not boring to me at all. And I think it gives other people just a a little bit of. Um, inspiration to do their own or a little bit of ideas for their own they may already have that inspiration usually gardeners are once they begin really getting into gardening they kind of stay that way and never really give it up so um, hopefully that's the way it's going to be did you hear those birds they were out there on that uh, pampas grass at this beautiful coleus here. It just literally hurts to give up the garden, but it will feel good to get the rest too. the cold weather that's going to be followed by our frost is going to be here at three right around three o'clock in the afternoon I'm back from church and it's 1 07 or was when I came out here and I just got out here it's beginning to mist right now So I'm going to go one more time, one more time around. You can tell where I took some of the red out of this pot from one, one of the previous times I've shown it on. I took some of this one too, of course, <laughs> I wouldn't want to miss it. So pretty soon we'll be putting up Christmas trees and Christmas will be just around the corner. Of course Thanksgiving comes first. I'm not leaving Thanksgiving out. But I don't mind uh, just kind of lumping it all together. <laughs> all the uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. 
giving it all a little bit of Christmas flair. Because after all, Christ should be in all of it. We did miss a few things yesterday. I was trying to get it all in so I wouldn't have to be out here for anything except uh, just to cover a few things. And then of course I'll cover more <clears throat> as winter moves ahead because right now it's, it's really not winter and I think we will have some pretty weather uh, again before it really gets down to freezing and stays there long enough for the ground to freeze. This is one of my favorites, of course. This beautiful, long, trailing Silver Falls by Chandra. And with this Dusty Miller, the two together are just perfect. I, I always say that, and I probably always will, because I just, oh, there comes the wind, and it's cool, very cool. I've got to get busy, but oh, I don't want to miss a thing. Look at this beautiful, Silver Falls of Chandra. I'll probably be out here in the rain trying to get last picture. What I mean, probably. I already am. It's misting. <laughs> Oh, I have to let it go. I have to get busy. The rain's going to come and it's going to be cold. I can, it's just, it's whipping around now. Can you see how it's beginning to with that one little thing dangling there? And the rains are coming down a little more. So I've got to get the camera in. So I think this is going to be it until after our little frost spell.